Pacini set them for a great fight. With me ringside, the former world champion, Howard Brown. First of seven two-minute rounds underway for the vacant WKA Super Lightweight British title. And two very, very confident men. Sugar Boy Castellane says he, he'll be surprised if he lasts beyond the fifth. Trevor Stacey says we'll wait and see. Howard, uh, very confident young man, Sugar Boy. V very confident. The guys from Liverpool tend to be very confident. He's got a good trainer in Jeff Bullock. Uh, but Trevor Tacey is not to be underestimated at all. And I'd say that although they've both had the same amount of fights, Trevor Tacey's probably had some harder battles. So a little bit more experience, perhaps. Well, Sugar Boy Castellane, certainly very aggressive from the start. He said before the fight that he'd take the fight to Tacey, and that's exactly what he's done. Just looking at him there, he's got pretty good hand speed and he's got a good guard and stance. And a natty line in shorts as well. <laughs> and it says on the back, Rumble, young man, a rumble. But we'll see, because at the end of the day in this sport, you've got to back up what you say, but he walked into a good left there. Yes, it was a good left from Tayson. One thing about Catalan, his head is a little bit high and he does punch with his hands a little low. He's got that big gap there. But um, having said that, he's just corrected it. Having said that, he's got good weaponry himself. He can't afford to box with his face, though. No, he's staggered badly. Badly. He's trying to say he's not hurt. His legs said differently. The first sign is the legs go, and he walks into another one there. And as I said, if you box with your face, you're, you're not going to take much punishment before your legs go. And the legs certainly wobbled then. And Tacey, obviously incensed by the pre-fight remarks from Sugar Boy Castellane. He's going to end this one, if he can, quickly. But he looks as if he's got good recovery, Castellane. Yes, but this is a seven-round fight, and if Tacey's tagged him once, he can tag him again. See, when Castellane's throwing shots, if he throws a kick or a punch, he drops his guard. And he's had so high, what a wicked left hook. He's hurt there again. Very look, at, look at the way he walks back to the corner. You see, the thing is, I'm surprised that someone who's had 32 fights is making such basic mistakes. Well, that's the question. 32 fights and very similar records. 24 wins for Castellane, 27 for Tacey. And here's that uh, lovely left, and uh, he tries to follow it up there. That was a good attack from Tacey. It wasn't a, a straight bit wild, line. I thought, a little bit wild, but uh, if he'd have kept his cool, he'd already caught him. It looked to me, if he'd have kept his cool, then he might have picked up just one more shot. Seconds away, one, two. Second round underway. Castellane's corner will have told him that he's got to... Get his act together. He's got good weapons. He's got a fast punch and he's got fast, strong legs, but he keeps dropping his guard. And, and Tacey's strong enough to block and counter. And in, uh, intelligent and uh, experienced enough to pick him off. Yeah, the thing is now that Tacey's forcing him back. And uh, I'll get the impression that Castellane's not a going back kind of fighter. Oh, another left hook. He's so lax in defense. It's unbelievable. Castellane, Castellane very confident because he's already beaten Tacey once before as a junior but oh, uh, got to be a long time ago a long time ago another left hook again he, he can't take those all he won't take many more of those before the uh, the reflexes start to slow down but he, uh, to be fair his guard's very very low and you would have thought if you'd have been it three or four times on the button that you'd get your guard high and i think it's hard it's a hard thing to learn during a fight time and uh, he's going to have to learn it from the video, but he's, he's certainly absorbing a lot of punishment. So there's no holds barred, is there? It's a good scrap. It is because uh, they're both as strong as and brave as they come. Strong legs, though, Castellane, as you saw then. Yeah, he's a much better kicker than he is a puncher. He finds his distance better. See, the difference is, is that Tacey looks to counter. When Castellane does something, he doesn't expect to get hit back. Just drops his guard as if he's allowed to get away with the attack. That can be the weakness of too many easy fights. That was a good leg kick, excellent timing. And Tacey seems to be looking his man, not looking at what's happening around him, but he's got his eyes fixed and he's waiting. And when the kick comes in, he throws the punch. He's always countering. Always. There we go again. He's always looking, to, and that time in combination. Castellane rarely counters. Well, I make it two rounds to Tacey so far out of the seven. No question. We'll see the leg kick now, I think. Here he comes. 
And a great oh. kick. With the front leg too. That's, that's an advanced technique and very skillful. Not only is it uh, damaging, but it's also psychologically damaging. It puts Tacey well on top in the psychological stakes. That's right. Once, once you touch down to the canvas, it's embarrassing. Back up. He's, got, uh, he's very lippy and uh, full of confidence, as you expect people from Liverpool. But uh, he hasn't backed it up so far. Well, you don't really back it up on the night. You back it up in training. And obviously his training has been a little bit lax because he's making silly basic mistakes. And we're not talking fitness, we're talking coaching. That's right, technique, poor technique. Round three. There we go again. Head way up in the air as he throws his technique. Almost inviting the punch. Yeah, he's, he's, he's asking for it, as they say. See, the difference is, in, re in the record, although they both, on paper, have had the same amount of fights, Tacey is more experienced, he's had harder fights, and uh, he's got a much better basic grounding. And defensively, he looks more alert. Yeah, he's blocked nearly every leg kick Castellane's thrown his way, and countered them after that. Well, Castellane with uh, a lot to do to put himself back into this. Has he got anything that can stop the fight? We'll see. I think if he landed one of those kicks to the body, Tacey would be hurt, but Tacey's got a good defence. Obviously done his homework. Yes. Here we go, here we go. That's it, forward now. That's it, forward. That's it, go forward. Tacey's throwing some dangerous right hands as well as the left hook too. He hasn't really connected with one of those yet. That's high, go forward. Go forward. Just missed the whiskers there. Keep on looking, Heather. Tacey now trying to look for that knockout. And to be fair, Castellane just doesn't look comfortable when he's under pressure. No, he's, he's good attacking, apart from the fact he drops his guard. But when he's going back, he offers no resistance, no form. He loses his footwork and everything. It looks as if, he, if stays, Tacey is actually trying to now force him on that back foot. Yes, I know he's shot. hurt him there. It's the first time he connected. Shot. That's the first right hand that's landed, Tom. Tacey's corner should be urging him forward now. Another good leg kick. Well, that was beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely perfect technique. Yeah. From the Newark lad, who has the determination to be British champion. I think we've seen that in these opening three rounds. A real determination to take the title. Oh, definitely. He's a British title standard fighter. It actually comes down to who wants it most, doesn't it? Absolutely. Beautiful, absolutely magnificent. And as Castellane attacked, Tacey knew exactly what he was going to do. Yeah, all a question of timing and correct training. The thing is, with that technique, it can actually hurt you because if you land with your back flat on the floor, you can be winded. So obviously, Castellane's not in that bad shape.